good evening. Yeah. Wait for a couple of people to come on um, Zoom. You may get to fast forward a little bit since I am going to wait a second for everybody to get on to Instagram and to Facebook. Um, the noise that you may be hearing in the background, there is a story behind it. And it definitely goes with one of the videos that is in the bundles, the life and business bundle. And that is the one about how to be an entrepreneur or start a business, grow a business when you're married to a non-entrepreneur. And this is a perfect example tonight of what that is truly <laughs> about. So I hope everybody uh, had a great Friday, um, uh, has had a great day overall. Even those of you who are watching this at a different time on the replay, I hope you've had a great day, um, a great week so far. Um, but yeah, so the story behind why you may be hearing, why you may be hearing lawnmowers in the back is because earlier today, my husband asked me, he said, Janae, do you have any cash on you? I said, no. He said, well, the people are coming to cut the grass tomorrow, as in Saturday, tomorrow. And in my head, I said, okay, I'll definitely have me some, you know, have $40 in cash before that happens. So 6.45 PM, 15 minutes before I'm supposed to go live, I see the truck pull up and then I like, okay, maybe that's the neighbor. Then I start hearing the grass being mowed. Now I've already talked to my children saying, I am about to go live in 15 minutes. Let's get into our spots where you are supposed to be so I can do this and we can go back to our day. All right, we've been together all day doing things. Um, that's another thing with the videos that I told you how to run a business when you have children. We've been together doing things all day and now I'm working uh, and it's a Friday evening. So all of a sudden my daughter is like, mommy, there's, they're out there cutting the grass. They're making noise and so forth. And so I called my husband and I said, I thought you said they were coming tomorrow. He said, they are, they're coming on Friday. I said, today is Friday, sir. <laughs> and I don't have any cash for them. They're gonna have to take a check. And he's like, well, go to the bank. I said, I go live in five minutes. I can't do that. Non-entrepreneur. He's just like, forget all of that. Just go get the money, pay the lawn, <laughs> the lawn people. Cause that's what he cares about because he's not an entrepreneur and he doesn't understand how it's been an entire week of lives. And I haven't, I've already announced that I ain't going live at 7 p.m. I'm not going to adjust it to go get cash out the bank for the lawnmower man. So I end up getting it together. Um, let's just say I have to pay my children back $20 each tomorrow because we got them. I was like, just give, give me some money at your piggy banks. So I can get this to them and I can get on live with all of you um, on Instagram and Facebook and do this last day of building your bank a uh, week. Ah, but that is the reason I did the video around how to run a business and how to start a business when you're married to a non-entrepreneur, because it is a different dynamic that you have to juggle in order to make everything work, okay? To make the marriage work, to make the business work, and so forth. Instagram, I'm going to just adjust you just a little bit. Adjust. It's Friday. It's late. I've been with children all day, Okay. So what we're going to talk about tonight is what would you do if you knew you could not fail? What would you do if you knew you could not fail? Okay. Um, we've had a full week of content, different subjects. So what did we go over this week? The first one was how, let's see, how to, oh, what you need to do um, right now to ensure that your business increases in the fall 2020 and beyond or whenever you're watching this um, on the replay the, just being able to advance your business in the future what you need to do today to do that um, another video we did this week is how to use video effectively to grow your business because video is where it's at right now uh, another live we did was why people are not buying from you and what you can do to keep the basically stop that from happening and get them to buy from you. 
Last night we talked about what do you need in place financially in order to start a business or to grow it to the next level. And so tonight it's all about what would you do if you knew you could not fail? Because a lot of people, we think that, you know, society may be holding our business back or holding us back. Maybe think it is family, friends, circumstances. And, but when you ask this question, what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail? Then a lot of times we get blank stares and we get a confused look because we've always been in a position of blaming other people. And when it comes to business, and hey, when it comes to business, we got to think of it a different way. So just to remind everybody, I am on face, Instagram, Facebook, and Zoom. And like I said at the beginning, there is a reason why you may be hearing a lawnmower outside uh, of this video. And so you can hear that story at the beginning. Just to let you all know, there are under five bundles left. I think it's like three and four bundles left. Um, the Life and Business Bundle and the Speaker's Blueprint Bundle. So if you wanted one, because once the three and the four are gone, the system knows not to let anybody else have that $99 price and to go straight up to 147. So if you wanted the bundle, I suggest you get off of these lives right now. Get your bundle now before they sell out. Because like I said, once they sell out, the price goes up, okay? So tonight we're gonna talk about what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail. And so I, I am going to make this one, you know, not as long as the other ones, because I know this is day five, but I still wanted to get this part in there because this is more of the mental behind entrepreneurship, whether you are just starting out or you are been in business for years, but you, you've hit a plateau and you're just not going up where you need to go, where you know that you can go. Okay, so that's what I kind of want to cover tonight. So the first thing that may be holding you back is financial security. And this is, this can be whether you are still working nine to five for somebody else. And it can be if you are working with someone else, so um, probably a spouse, and you all are afraid of letting that spouse come full time into the business, although the business is booming because of the financial security part that you are afraid of messing up. So I, what I mean by that is that when you work a nine to five or somebody in the household works a nine to five, somebody's getting a check every week, every two weeks, maybe every month, whatever their pay schedule is. When somebody goes into entrepreneurship or the whole household goes into entrepreneurship, whether you live with someone else or you live alone, when that happens, things become unpredictable things supposedly come become unpredictable because no longer are you getting a paycheck every two weeks no longer you get a paycheck every week or every month and that scares a lot of people because if you've been in that nine to five or working for someone else ever since you started working in your life then yes i understand how that fear can come up because you're so used to making sure that you have that money even though you have your own business on the side and that's bringing money in, maybe even more than your full time is, you're still afraid to let go of that security blanket, which is your salary, which is your um, like clockwork paycheck, okay? That's why throughout this week, we have talked about, of course, how to get your finances together in order to step away from the nine to five or in order to grow your business. That's why I was talking about that kind of thing, because then it makes it less scary to go all in on your business and to let go of that security blanket that is your paycheck. Another thing, and this is what keeps a lot of women from going full time in entrepreneurship, and that is healthcare benefits and benefits in general, but definitely healthcare benefits. Um, for so long in the States, of course, when you're in other countries, you all have, a lot of countries have universal health care. But in the States, we did not have, we had private health care insurance pretty much only. Private health care insurance, Medicaid, Medicare, whatever, for a very long time. And so it kind of put women who wanted to be entrepreneurs in handcuffs because we needed the health care. And I, we're, women, we are very risk adverse. 
we like security. We like safety. And because we like security and we like safety, just the thought of us not having health care for ourselves or for our children or for our household, it is frightening. Thank goodness in 2009, that fear was lifted when the exchanges came through, the health care exchanges. A lot of people call it Obamacare, the health care exchanges. So for now, at least six years now, I have been on the exchanges. So that was one of my fears as well because um, my son does have asthma, does have peanut allergy. My daughter has some kind of allergies. We ain't had her tested, but she's fine. She takes some Zyrtec, she'd be good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but other than that, we are really healthy. We're really healthy. And for 10 years in corporate America, I worked basically in the healthcare industry. So I understand, um, I understand healthcare insurance very well to be able to pick out my own plans. So once I knew that, and once I sat down and looked at the exchanges, called some people, called the healthcare exchanges people myself because they know a lot. Like if you got questions, just call them. And now we, we hardly pay anything for a family of four. Why? Because we don't get sick. Now we have a high deductible, but be, that's why I talk about being financially um, prepared so that you can be in a position to have things like a high um, deductible because guess what? You got the, in case you are breathing fund of six to 12 months of expenses to be able to cover any kind of doctor bill that may come, any kind of deductible. So the fear, and this, if you all read, I think it was the email on yesterday, false evidence appearing real, maybe it's two days ago, false evidence appearing real. That's what you worried about your healthcare benefits are about. Now, if you have some kind of serious illness that costs a lot of money, then guess what? Maybe you ha will have to toe the line until you get a really big chunk of money in your emergency, um, emergency fund. But after that, then you look for a plan that is not going to hit you over the head each month <laughs> and still is going to cover what you needed to cover. And then go out and be an entrepreneur because as a nine to five, and let me say this first and foremost, it's nothing wrong with having a nine to five. If that is what you love to do, then do it with excellence. Um, excellence okay. Do it excellence. Um, but if you want to be an entrepreneur and that's what it's about, understand as an entrepreneur, if you are really trying to be one and you're trying to kill it, there's no ceiling around what you can make at all. There's no ceiling. You just need to find the channels where the money is and go get it. With a nine to five, there is a ceiling. You're only gonna make so much money. So that is why you have to let go of that fear and always say to yourself, what would I do if I knew I could not fail? So that's number one. Another thing that holds us back in the, because of the fear of failing is the opinions of others. And usually those opinions of others are not strangers. They are friends and family. Because, and a lot of them mean well, um, a lot of them will say, oh, but you got such a great job. This is stuff I heard. You have such a great job. I mean, gosh, you got your, your company car and all blah, 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 blah. All this, that's what they say. And they say that for like two years. You going back there? You going back to corporate America? Nope. I love spending time with my children whenever I want to. They got, they got something to do at school. I'm there. They got a field trip. I wanted a few parents there. Anything needs to go on, I am there. If I want to leave today and go somewhere else, like right now, let's say Monday, I want to go to Jamaica or a beach somewhere. I can go. I don't have to request no time off. None of that. I just leave. The opinions of others should not hold you back. I don't care if it's your mama. <laughs> I don't care if it's your grandma. I don't care if it's your best friend. Don't let their fear of not doing what they want to do, their, their fear of not taking a chance, keep you from doing yours. Do not let their fear of not taking a chance on themselves, on their life, on their dreams, on their goals, keep you from doing yours. We only have one life to live. We ain't coming back. You got one life to live. You do not want to get to the age 80, 90, 99 years old and have this regret and say, man, I wonder what would have happened if I would have opened that business. I wonder what would have happened if I wouldn't have let mama talk me out of going full time in my business. If I didn't let others pe other people's fear dictate my life. 
And that's the same thing for your fear, letting your fear dictate your life as well. But don't let the opinions of others, they say, oh, you're going to do that social media thing. You're going to be doing social media. Social media is trash, blah, blah, blah. Everybody will project their fears onto you because they are scared of doing what you are talking about doing. And sometimes you got to keep some things to yourself. Everybody don't need to know what your moves are. Everything don't need, everybody don't need to know what your plans are. Move in silence. Move in silence till you're ready to launch and then boom, everybody go know. <laughs> and by that time, you, go, you, don't have, you don't got so much confidence in your product, your service, what you have to offer, your value, that nobody's opinion, whether it's your family or your friends or some occasional stranger on social media, is going to keep you from moving forward. So don't let the fear of other people, their opinions, their, um, their not ever taking action in their lives mess with you. So that's number two. And the last one, and feel free to um, get your questions ready. Uh, and the questions can be from anything this week that we talked about, okay? Um, so get your questions ready. And then the last one is your fear that it actually might work, that your business idea might work and then everything changes. And this is not just for people who are trying to actually go full-time in their business. This is for all of us who've been in business for years too. And we are hesitant on taking a chance on ourselves and going out there after a big deal, going after a big opportunity, because if we do and it works, then everything in life changes. And that's what we're afraid of. We're actually afraid of success and something working out because things will change. We will not be able to go out with our friends as much as we did in the past. We will not be able to go do as much leisurely things that we've done in the past. We're going to have to make some sacrifices in order for that success to keep going. So I know it sounds ironic for me to say that we have a fear of if something actually works, but a lot of people hold themselves back because they are afraid that maybe this will work. And if it works, then everything's going to change. And a lot of us do not like change. We do not like change at all. And so that is the fear that keeps us from stepping away from our nine to five. It's a fear that keeps us from going after that big deal that we could have if we just email the person, if we just you know, reach out and schedule the meeting, if we go to the meeting, <laughs> We end up sabotaging ourselves because we are comfortable in the success we have right now, but we're called to higher success. But yet, because we're comfortable, we think that that's where we need to stay. True success is where you are uncomfortable. That's where the true success is. You think you're successful because you're comfortable. That's not success. That's being uh, complacent in where you are and not moving. Being successful means being in a place where you are uncomfortable, but it still feels good because you are doing what you love and you're making a difference. So those are the three fears that I want to talk about tonight. The fear of losing financial security, so paychecks, health care, um, the, uh, um, the fear of the opinion of others and letting them project their fear onto you, and then your fear of that it actually might work and everything changes think to yourself each and every day when you feel like you're having we talked about that this week analysis paralysis or you feel like fear is starting to set in you have to ask yourself what would i do right now in this moment if i knew i could not fail because that's what we're afraid of we're afraid of failing failing ourselves and failing in front of others because of their opinions and we can't have any fear of failing because failure leads to success. You fail forward. You fail fast because when you fail fast and you fail forward, guess what? You're a lot closer to success. You're a lot closer to, <laughs> to what you want most out of life. So it's okay to fail. Just fail fast, fail forward, and lesson learned, keep it moving. All right? Any questions? Any questions at all? I, I, like I said, this is day five, so I, I didn't want to hold you too long, but I definitely wanted to cover this because this is more of the mental aspect around entrepreneurship uh, because there are 
good days, very good days, but there are also some very hard days and some days that truly suck. <laughs> there are some days that truly suck where the only thing that I want to do is just go take a nap. I go take a nap an hour or two. That's another freedom of entrepreneurship. I can take a nap any time of the day that I want to. I take that nap and I get up and I hit it again. I get myself up and I say, let's go. They beat you down this morning, but this afternoon it is yours today. So that's why you have to have no fear. You have to have no fear of failure because entrepreneurship is not easy. Entrepreneurship will kick your butt on some days, but because you love what you're doing so much, you have a passion for what you're doing, the value you're providing, product service you're providing, you keep going, all right? You keep going. Any questions, and I'm on Instagram, Facebook, it's recording on Zoom. So those of you who have signed up on the email list of Building Bank Week, um, you all, all have all week got an email the next day um, with extra content in addition to the replay of these videos. Um, so you've got extra content. Like one of the emails I talked about how to get past imposter syndrome as an entrepreneur. All right. So it's different things like that. Um, just a reminder, the bundles, well, they may be gone now. But when I got on live tonight, there were three bundles left of, I think, the life and business um, bundle. And then there were four left of the speaker's blueprint bundle. So I told people when they first got on here, if you want that one of those bundles, you need to get them right now. Because once they sell out, the system knows to put the price up to $147. Um, and that's what it's going to be. Um, so, and at the beginning of the live tonight, I'll let you know why you hear lawnmowers out there. That, that's why I made the video, how to run a business when married to a non-entrepreneur. This is a perfect example of what's going on right now. So I, I, that story is at the beginning of the lives. Uh, the videos, for those that wanted to know what the videos are in the life and business bundle, in case there are any left when you get off of the live, is how to start your business the right way, how to start your business with children. Because right now, I'm on live with you and Pastor all week this week. Either one or both of my children have been in the, in the house with me and you haven't heard anything from any of them. Like none of them have came on screen or anything. I have a seven-year-old. Now the lawnmower and the people out there, that's my husband's fault because he just completely forgot what was going on tonight. And he thought today was Thursday instead of Friday. And he told me, he said, no, they're actually coming. So they're coming on Friday. I was like, John. Today is Friday, and they're out here 15 minutes before my live's about to start. So that is why I did a video in the Life and Business Bundle about how to run a business when you're married to a non-entrepreneur and how to make that dynamic work. Because if you are married and you're trying to be an entrepreneur or you are an entrepreneur and trying to go to the next level when things can change with success, you better get the Life and Business Bundle. If you had any clashes with your spouse about your business and you feel like they don't understand, you need to get the life and business bundle just for that video alone. So that is one of them. How to trademark effectively is another video. How to start and grow your business when you're working a nine to five. How to network online and offline. How to handle student loan debt so you can pay it off quickly. Uh, how to handle creditors. All of that is in the life and business bundle link in the bio. Um, the speakers blueprint bundle is for all of you who want to get paid a lot of money to speak. It is basically an inside look into what I do. Those of you who have the course, how to become a highly paid speaker, this is a compliment of that. This is a brand new eight videos. So those videos are how to get on the news. I have been on the news three and a half years now. I go every two weeks now. Just talk to the station today. We were supposed to go next week. I'm not gonna be back from Kentucky in time because um, I, I have three speaking engagements next week. Um, I'm not going to be back in time. So we moved it to the 26th. But I have been on the news three and a half years now. And I've been not only on that news station, but multiple news stations. So I let you know exactly how I did it and how I continue to do it and how you can do it to yourself as a speaker and even as a business owner. Um, how to sell your books in bulk. So 100 at a time, 300 at a time. A video is on that. How to negotiate your speaking fees. So you start, stop getting cheated out of your money. You all are very smart in your expertise. 
in your storytelling, like whatever your story is, it helps other people. Don't get paid a couple of hundred dollars for that. You can't make a living off of that as a speaker. Don't get paid $600 for that. Whenever I go and speak, it's thousands of dollars. I just negotiated the other day, uh, close to seven grand. So that's negotiating your speaking fees because it's more than just the money. It's other things that go into that as well. Another video is three things you need in place as a speaker so people can take you seriously so you get, can get paid thousands of dollars um, to speak. How to network as a speaker is the next video. How to get speaking engagements from LinkedIn. How to find conferences to speak at. And then once you get to those conferences, how to work them so you walk away with thousands of dollars in speaking engagements for, for the future. I go to conferences. When you see me at conferences, I'm going to get speaking engagements. And that's what that video is about. So those are the two bundles. Like I said, before I started the live, there were three of one bundle left and four of another one. So I don't know if they're still available or not, but if you want one of those bundles, I suggest you get off here now and maybe get the last one. Um, any questions at all? Any questions at all? The replay will be in your email tomorrow. It'll be in your email tomorrow as well as some more content just like all of this week. So if you're not on the email list, click the link in the bio. Instagram is the first link. Um, Facebook, I'll put the link in, in this video for everything so that you'll have it, um, so that you can get the bundles as well. All right. So if there are not any questions, I want to thank you all for joining me this week. I don't care if you gain one day or all five days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because you could be doing something else with your time, but you took your time to spend with me. And so I thank you for taking that time all five of these days. And I hope it was beneficial to you. I hope it helped you um, in your business, in your life um, as a speaker, whatever it may be, whatever you may be doing right now. I hope it helped. And um, feel free, if you have any questions about this week or about the bundles, DM me. I will be up for a few more hours. Um, and if you have any questions, just let me know. And then I will answer them. All right. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.